Would you like to create an online t-shirt order form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new form for this example. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. We're going to choose to create a new form. And we can either start from scratch, we can utilize the template, we can import a form, or we can create a signable document. So for this example, let's go ahead and utilize a template. Now, if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can always use the search option up at the top to search for a very specific template. But over on the left-hand side, we can see these different types and order forms is the very first one. So if we click on order forms, we can see that there is a t-shirt order form that is all ready to go. And it looks like there's actually 32 templates. So let's go ahead and choose the t-shirt order forms and let's see what we have to work with. And we can do a quick scroll, see if there's anything that catches our eye. And let's go ahead and utilize this soccer team t-shirt order form. We can always preview it just to get an idea of what we're working with. Perfect. So let's go ahead and use template. Now, when we're utilizing a template like this, everything is going to stay exactly the same as when we previewed it. So if there's anything that we would like to make a change to, maybe the background, we want to change that. We can choose the form designer and we can see right here, the page image is that grass or that turf image. So if we want, we can always remove that image and add our own branding. And then also if we'd like to add in some different form elements on the left hand side, we can choose to add form element and then we can drag and drop anything we need into our form. So I'm pretty sure the email is a little bit further down. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right here. Now this is our product list. We can see right here, it is already grayed out because this is what is being utilized. And if we come here and choose the payment settings, this is going to bring up all the different options that we can utilize for our products. So we can see here, we have three different uniforms. We have different quantity options and size options. So let's go ahead and we can either choose the gear to delete, disable, or to duplicate, or we can choose the pencil to edit. So with this, I really want to showcase the different options that we have. So up at the top, if we choose options, we can see that we have 21 options for quantity and we can edit this. So we can see we have from zero all the way up to 20. So that means that someone can purchase up to 20 of this one. We can save this quantity. And then we have seven different sizing options. So if we scroll down, we can see we have extra small all the way to XXXL. Now, if we want, there's even some more options up here. We can create sub products and we can even create special prices per option. So if we turn that on, we can now see that we can charge more for specific sizes if we need to. So we can go ahead and turn that off and we can head back. And if we need to have any type of stock control, we can turn that on as well. So let's say maybe we have three extra smalls, we have 50 small, 100 medium, and you get the drift. You can edit this to be exactly how you want it to be. So let's go ahead and save, and we'll head back up to the top, and let's click on the gear, we can get this set up. We can see here that this is a PayPal Pro integration. So you'll need your API username, your password, and your signature. So let's go ahead and X out of this. Now, as of right now, this is just an order form, so just a form. If you wanna take it to the next level, you can turn this into an app or an online store. So up in the top left-hand corner, we can choose our form builder and we can jump over to app builder and it's gonna create this form into an app for us. And here is our t-shirt order form within a brand new app. Now you can make this fit however you want, but if we scroll down to the very bottom, we can add a new page. If you want, you can add in maybe some social information or any testimonials or how to get in contact with you. And you can make this into a complete app for you. So just for example, let's go ahead and bring in, let's say a testimonial option and let's add another page. You can see them down here at the bottom, the pages are adding. And let's go ahead and add in a map. Perfect, so let's preview our app. And if we scroll down, we see this first page is just the information about our t-shirt order form. But up at the top, we see we have these two different pages. So if we have page one, this is our testimonials. And then page two, again, is that map. Perfect, now again, Editing those page names is very simple. We just need to scroll down and right here we have page one. We can edit it there 
and here or right down here. So let's change this page one. We'll change this one to testimonials and then page two to map. Perfect. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create your own order form for an online t-shirt store, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.